So what are the characteristics of HDFS? We have fault tolerance, scalability, rack awareness, support for heterogeneous clusters, and built for large data sets. So HDFS does provide this scalable fault tolerant rack aware storage designed to be deployed on commodity hardware. Let's look at the first characteristic fault tolerance. HDFS is designed with hardware failure in mind. Data in a Hadoop cluster is broken down into smaller units called blocks. These are then duplicated and distributed throughout the cluster. Since the data has been replicated, it is highly available and fault tolerant. The default replication factor is three. This can be changed upwards or downwards by an administrator. Number two is scalability. When requirements increases, we can scale the existing cluster. There are two scalability mechanisms available, vertical, which is larger hardware, and horizontal, which provides an unlimited supply of computing added to the cluster. Three is rack aware. A rack is a collection of machines, typically around 40 to 50, which are connected using the same network switch. If that entire network goes down, then all machines in that rack will be out of service. Rack awareness is a concept introduced by Apache Hadoop to overcome this issue. Rack awareness achieves two things. One, by increasing the availability of a data block across multiple racks. And two, better cluster performance by segmenting the read operations across multiple racks. Communication between two data nodes on the same rack is more efficient than the same between two nodes on different racks. So information about the location of each data node distributed across the racks in Hadoop cluster is stored in the name node. We'll be learning more about the name node, which holds our metadata when we discuss the HDFS architecture. Before, HDS supports a variety of storage types to optimize data usage and lower costs based on data usage frequency. You can configure each data directory with a storage type such as SSDs for improved performance, archival storage for very dense and rarely accessed data, and so on. HTFS is meant to handle large files, i.e. in terabytes and petabytes of data. HTFS splits huge files into smaller chunks known as data blocks, and requests for these blocks to go across a network and come without a lot of overhead. The size of the data block is very important concern in such scenarios. Having a small block size can result in more requests to figure out where that block can be found, thereby increasing the network traffic and having a very large block size can result in longer data processing times. To overcome both these scenarios, the default size of the HTFS block is 128 megabytes, which can also be configured up or down per your requirements.